These are the Lower Myra Falls. So this is the start of my uh, day. I think there's four waterfalls, maybe five, that I'm going to be checking them around, out around Butte Lake. Alright, so I'm here at the Crass Creek Trail, and it's a short little walk, only about two kilometers, but it's supposed to have some cool stuff with like disappearing waterfalls that go underground and stuff like that. This is a bit of a shame. Looks like the city just recently cut this tree down. I counted the rings, it's around 230 years old. Uh, so it's a pretty old tree, and it's pretty close to the road, so they probably cut it down because maybe it was leaning too much that way and they didn't want it falling. That sucks. So this is Disappearing Creek. It just disappears into the rock. Going down underground. I thought it was going to be a little more spectacular than this, but maybe there's more coming up. So you can see here that uh, 30 years ago there was a forest fire and it burnt down those uh, hemlock trees there. And uh, these trees still standing are Douglas firs. They've got thicker bark so they were able to survive the fire. And then of course you can see all these new trees coming in, which typically happens after a forest fire. So this trail is actually closed, but I ducked under the ribbons and I'm doing it anyways, and now I figured out why. Uh, this giant tree has fallen down right on the trail, but it's nothing I can't uh, navigate over. So it looks like that tree didn't even fall over. It was just cut down and they did a shitty job of cutting it down that it fell right on the trail. And I don't even know why they're cutting down these big Douglas firs anyways. There's so many of them here. This is an old growth forest. And this is Lupin Falls, which is extremely <laughs> underwhelming right now. I mean, I'm sure it's better when the falls are a little more powerful than this, but it's really uh, not that impressive at the moment. Sweet, found a little well here uh, at one of the campgrounds so I can fill my water tank for my car.
All right. And there we go. She's flowing again. All right, for the final waterfall of the day, Lady Falls. Supposedly a 20 minute hike, according to the sign, which usually means seven minutes in my time. My mistake, six and a half minutes. Whoa. Now these falls are not disappointing. Alright, so this is the last waterfall I'm going to check out for today and now I'm going to head on over to Gold River and probably grab some food there and uh, go visit some caves tomorrow. I see that dog in the distance. Gonna check out uh, the Upana Caves today. And this sign is a good marker of where the trail is, I guess. Let's go check them out. Wow, BC Parks has really done a great job here. They even have a map of the cave right at the entrance. So you sort of know where to go. And that's the cave there, so I'm just going to throw my headlamp on and go inside. Well, already I'm very confused, as I don't see anywhere to go. It seems like it leads into this dead-end pit here. That's the entrance up there. But there's another small little hole that I see daylight coming from, so I'll check that out. But is that just going to take me around? So this is the main cave over here. So I'm going to try and get in and... Let's see how this, see if this is any bigger than the last one it's supposed to be. But, uh, oh, it's pretty cool. Let me uh, go down here. Seems like there's some steps. polished rock up there. It looks really cool. So I turn my headlamp off and I can see some daylight coming from around the corner there. So I'm gonna try and uh, go that way. And I hear a river too. So I'm gonna try and make my way through here. See if I can find another exit. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a bit of a low crawl. Let me try and make my way up there though. All right, so that's the cave I came out of there. It's another big cave there, which I'll go in. But I came over here and. There's some waterfalls, so I'm going to climb on the rocks here and check those out first. Nice little sun shower going on now, too.
I don't know. I thought I was lost. I was just wandering around, but those steps must be the ones I came down to get in. But I didn't go through this cave. Oh, I think I might have went down there. I guess I'll go this way. Corner Slither Cave. Estimated duration 15 to 20. Suggested for the more adventurous. Well, that's me. Uh, I can see what they mean. More adventurous now. Uh. Oh my gosh, I gotta get down on my stomach here. I'm at the last of the caves here. This is a resurgence cave and it's pretty cool. Uh, so far I think it's the best looking of all the caves in the area here and it also has all these uh, marble slabs down here that uh, the cave has formed over time. I find it crazy that there are these massive logs in here, in this cave. So it looks like at one point it must have flooded here and somehow these logs uh, floated in here and then got stuck. Right, I got to the end and it is just a big pool. So unless I want to go swimming, that's the end of this cave. You can see the river flowing out of the cave here. So, so far these are the best caves that I've seen on Vancouver Island. And uh, there's supposed to be uh, some even bigger caves just uh, towards Tehasis. But I don't have a hard hat and I figure I'll just save those for another day. So for now I'm going to head up north to Port Hardy where I plan to hike the North Coast Trail.